hear the music. I knew it was gonna be hard. You need to do it like this because you need to be an example for. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Love black men. I don't care if my boobs sag. So I don't really know what you're talking about because I show my body. Look how cute this headband is turning out. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today and God bless you guys. So today is a Q&A &A type of day. <laughs> so today I'm doing a Q&A. I asked you guys if you guys can ask me some questions, ask me anything and I will answer them and you guys definitely ask me the questions. Let me see how much questions I have. Ooh, 49 questions. I'll, I'll go through them. I'm pretty sure some of them are like repetitive so I'll go through them. Um, one by one, but I will be answering your questions as I work on my hungry mummy business. I just thought I can kill two birds with one stone, so why not? <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna pick them randomly and then just like, you know, go through them as I go along and stuff like that. So the first question is, what has been harder, losing all the weight the first time or now? I honestly think that losing weight the now is harder than losing it the first time. Because the first time it was like, I didn't really know what was gonna happen. Like it was kind of new to me, right? Like I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. I don't know, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know how hard it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be hard, but I didn't know how hard it was going to be. So I feel like this time around it's harder because I know how hard it was for me the first time, you know, to lose the weight. And I don't know, I just know the results that I can get. So I have hardly any patience, which I hate about myself this time around. Like I wish I had more patience. I really do wish I had more patience. So I'm always constantly asking for God to like, you know, give me the patience that I need to continue this journey and just enjoy the journey and just, you know, get, get it done basically. So yeah, this time is definitely way, way, way harder than the first time. I try to lose weight. The second question is, do you have any tips for me in keeping my weight somewhat under control while being pregnant? I mean, okay, I, I'm not a doctor, so I wouldn't like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not giving any medical advice. Like I honestly feel like maybe you should ask your doctor this question because like, you are pregnant and I don't know like the requirements of food that a pregnant woman is supposed to have. I have no idea about that. So I would prefer you to, you know, ask your doctor for that information. but. I will you know give you my advice because you wanted to hear what I had to say so I will give you my advice so my advice would be just intuitively eat that would be my advice like doing what I'm doing now because you know pregnant women they have cravings you know there's a lot of things going off your body right now your body's working overtime right now you know you're you're you have a baby that you're growing in your tummy and your body is trying to you know pump enough things for your baby and for you you know what I mean so I would honestly say Intuitive eating, I would definitely say like is the best bet for you right now. And I feel like with that, you will be giving your body what it needs and you won't be overeating. Cause intuitive eating is just like you're eating when you're hungry and you're stopping when you're full. So I feel like that's what you should do. I don't really feel like you should go on a diet as somebody who's pregnant. Um, But I feel like, you know, just obviously stopping when you're full and eating when you're hungry is the best advice that I can give you right now. So the next question says, how do you stay consistent? I'm on a weight loss journey myself and it's the hardest thing ever. I can't manage to stay consistent at all. I'm also documenting my journey on YouTube channel and it feels like I'm putting myself under a lot of pressure by doing that. It's tiring sometimes. Oh my goodness, I know exactly how you feel about just being consistent. I feel like a lot of people struggle with being consistent. That's just something that we as human beings struggle with when not only weight loss, but with a lot of things, being consistent working out, being consistent on like, you know, a lot of things. So I totally understand what you are saying. I would say with the whole consistency thing, like to just take it one day at a time, honestly. I, that's all I have to say, just take it one day at a time. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Think about today, don't think about tomorrow or next week or the month after or eight months down the road. Think about getting through the day right now. Taking it one day at a time. That is something that I used to do when I started my first, first ever journey and I'm trying to teach myself to do that right now again as well. So I honestly truly feel like, yeah, definitely taking it one day at a time. That should really, really, really help. So one day at a time. You also talked about feeling pressure 
pressured putting on your journey on YouTube, like online. And yes, I understand that as well too. The pressure is real. When people are watching you and you know, you're human, you make mistakes, you might fall off the wagon or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel a lot of pressure to documenting my journey online. And even though like, you know, the people that are following you aren't trying to necessarily like, you need to do it like this because you need to be an example for us. Like we, at the same time, just want to be that example for you guys and want to show you guys that it could be done and you know like give you guys hope you know so it's hard I totally understand it's it's really hard trying to be on this journey and as well you know document it for the world to see and to help others so if that's what you're doing like congratulations to you you are a boss queen I am a boss queen anybody who's doing that right now is a boss queen because that is like one of the hardest things to do the hardest thing so I understand love the next question says gorgeous I think she's talking about the picture. Thank you so much. And the question is, do you plan on starting the accountability subscription slash, slash group plan or slash group, you know, plan? So I literally was really thinking like, okay, yeah, I should do it. Like I should do it, you know, it'll help keep everybody accountable and you know, it's extra income and you know, I can really be raw on there and you know, talk about things that I wouldn't necessarily talk about on my main channel, things like that. But then I just started to think about the work that I would have to like go and do, like the extra work I'm giving myself. Sorry, I'm just getting some hungry mommy orders. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was just thinking about like, oh my gosh, like I already have a lot of things that I'm already doing right now. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just thinking like, I don't, I don't want to make a decision where like people are actually paying a subscription every month and I'm not following through. You know what I mean? Like I'm not giving the content that I promised because you guys are paying for me to be making the content and to be active and to you know yeah make content i just really was like oh i don't know about that i'm a little worried like i have so many things going on and then with me now opening up my business like finally like saying okay i'm gonna do this business thing i'm just kind of like i don't think that i would have the time to run my youtube channel my social medias run hungu mummy run hungu mummy social medias come up with content for youtube and for hungu mummy and then i just started like i just kind of said okay i'm gonna do a separate channel where i can talk makeup and life style videos, home decor, stuff like that. Like I'm, I love videos like that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do Janelle Wright 2.0. Like that's what it's called. I'll put it in the description box below so you can go follow the channel if you want to. Um, But it's, it's gonna be called Janelle Wright 2.0 and that's the kind of content that's gonna be on there. You know, me basically showing you my makeup and home decor and stuff, lifestyle vlogs, lifestyle videos, DIY, stuff like that. Anything that I basically want to post on that channel. That's the reason why I don't think that I would be doing the um, oh, let me make sure that this is the same. Yeah, I should stop here now. Well, that's the reason why I feel like I don't see myself doing that because I just wouldn't want to commit to something like that and just not be able to deliver for you guys. You guys, look at my headband. This is how it's coming along. This is the new version of one of my headbands. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this is the new headband that I'm working on. Look how pretty she is, you guys. I am not done yet. I'm just working on the bordery, but I'm not done yet. But isn't she gorgeous? I still have to add some things here on the sides and all that good stuff but yes you can go ahead and order your hungu mommy headband for your little princess um if you want right now i'm waiting to get some more inventory for the headbands i'm ready to get the headbands so i can go ahead and um decorate them and things like that so i won't be getting the headbands until a week from now so the orders probably won't go out until like two and a half weeks from today that's when i'll be able to like ship the orders and stuff like that but you guys have been like supporting and ordering and stuff like that and i'm so grateful go follow the hungu mommy instagram I'll put it right here in the description box below and also go follow the Hungu Mummy TikTok because I'm gonna start doing TikToks um, with Nova with the headbands do cute little content like that yes but lately I wanted to actually do some of the content like a couple days ago but it's been raining child like it's been raining every single day okay I'm just like is it fall or is it spring let me know let me know this is what I'm working on right now it's coming together I'm actually freestyling right now I really don't know what I want to do 
to the border. I really don't know exactly what I want to do. So I guess I'm just going to go along as I talk to you guys. But this is so cute. I love them. They're so cute. Next question. It's raining right now. That's why I got super dark in my room. It's so weird. The fact that it's raining literally made my room so dark. I'm trying to put on like my LED light. But it's not really not giving <laughs> and I don't want to put this light on because it's gonna cause a shadow more on my face and I'm wearing a hat so I'm like I really don't want to do that so we're just gonna keep it rolling with the um, question and answers so the next question is have you gone for the G1 yet and no I have not gone for the G1 yet I'm actually just waiting to go at the until the end of this month to do the G1 test I'm super excited I'm nervous I'm kind of just like oh my god like I don't know I you know what it is I'm just so scared of failing the G1 test I don't know where this like scared of failing the G1 test came from like I just feel like if you fail a G1 test like you're stupid and I'm scared to be like to think I'm stupid or like for people to be like you failed wow you're pretty dumb because it's really easy you know what I mean I'm kind of worried about that so I'm like oh like what did I do I don't know I'm going to do the test at the end of this month that is the plan and hopefully fingers crossed I get my uh my G1 <laughs> maybe I should put the side on it's kind of dark the next question is, will you have a weight loss group chat so others can join your journey? Hmm. I've done weight loss group chats before and I don't know. I just feel like I, ugh, I don't want to say the wrong thing because it's like, um, girl. But I just feel like they didn't really help much, you know? I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys really think that that would help. If you guys really think that it would help, I'll go ahead and I'll make one. I don't know where I would make it. I don't use Facebook at all. So I'd probably end up making it on Instagram where I've had my other weight loss group chats before so you know what I'll probably just go ahead and do it because even if like you know I'm not a hundred percent active in there like I feel like other people will definitely benefit from it with each other because it's not only that's my journey but a weight loss group chat is like initially everybody getting together about their weight so yeah I'll do it I'll do it for you guys I'll do it <laughs> I'll do it for you guys. I just don't know when, but it will be soon. All right, so next question is, besides losing 100 pounds, do you have a goal weight? My goal weight is just to get back to my lowest weight when I did my first year near around, which was 230. Uh, yeah, 230. That's like my goal weight. Anywhere between 230 and 240, I'll be good. I'll be so good. I'll be so happy if I could just maintain between there. I'll be good. And you know the thing that sucks about it, though, is that like now that I've gained this weight back, I realize that I actually know how to keep it up. I know how to fluctuate, how to keep my weight in like one area. Do you know what I mean? Like I know how to do that now. And it just sucks. I'm just like, wow, it took me to like gain all my weight back for me to know how to stay in a, in a in a weight range. It's just like, oh, like how annoying is that? You know, like why couldn't I have figured this out when I was 240? Like what? Or when I was 230, why couldn't I have figured it out? How to keep the weight off. Now I know how to keep the weight off and I'm trying to lose this weight again. Like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Okay, so next question says, sis, tell me how to look this fine. Thank you so much. Makeup and wig tub for this look. And then she's like putting like a please face. Um, yes, don't worry. I am definitely going to do makeup and stuff. Like I said, on my channel, uh, Janelle 2.0. That's where all the makeup and fun stuff will be posted. I just kind of want to leave Janelle right to be posted for like health and uh, wellness and stuff. I think that that's exactly what I am going to do. I think I'm just going to do all that stuff on Janelle 2.0. So go down in the description box below and um, subscribe to that channel. The question after this one kind of goes together. It says, hey girl, do you possibly have an interest in doing makeup tutorials for beginners and I mean there's a lot of makeup tutorials for beginners on the internet already I don't think that I would want to really be teaching how to do makeup like that for beginners it, like in the area of my life that I'm in now but I definitely will be doing like makeup tutorials but I don't think I'd be doing them for beginners though this question says are you still on your ACV journey and yeah I still take my apple cider vinegar definitely still take my apple cider vinegar <laughs> that stuff is so good for you I find that when I take it I end up losing more weight than when I don't take it you know sometimes I get into these areas where like I literally truly do be forgetting to take it and I'm just like oh my gosh and then other times I remember to take it and I'm just like oh my god I'm like losing all this weight again yeah but no I definitely am still on my ACV journey 100% okay this question says how much have you lost so far I have lost between 30 pounds like I'm not even going to cap. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I've lost between 30 pounds. I keep gaining and losing 
two pounds. Like one day I'll be like up a pound, the next day I'll be down a pound. And I know like that is normal, but the thing with me is that I'm trying to lose. So I don't like the fact that I've been so stuck with like losing a pound and gaining a pound and losing a pound and gaining a pound. I just want to see like there's consistent weight loss. So you know what I'm saying? And it's not like I'm just like yo-yoing. You know what I mean? So I don't really know, but I have lost between 30 pounds. So this question says, um, do you ever regret starting your YouTube channel? No. I do not ever regret starting my YouTube channel. I am so happy and blessed that I started it when I did. I wish I grew more on YouTube. Like I've been on YouTube for say over 10 years, but I haven't been doing YouTube consistently and taking it seriously for over 10 years, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay girl, yeah, you've been doing YouTube, but like you haven't been consistent. So you can't even really say you wish you grew like that. And I mean, that's true. I will say that for sure. Like I really been consistent on my YouTube until like maybe the last three four years and at that I still was all over the place you know what I mean I'm just now literally starting to like really get a groove of like posting and um, giving consistent content you know what I mean before I was just I don't know what I was doing child but yeah like I'm just starting to really get like a schedule going and post on YouTube like you know consistently so but no I definitely do not regret ever making it my youtube channel i love it this question is will you consider having another baby one day oh my god i would love love, love, love to have another baby i would love to give nova a sister oh i would love to give her a sister i don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon but i do want to get healthy before i think about having another baby again definitely i want to get down to a certain size before I have, I get pregnant, so like any weight that I gain will be like, okay, yeah, I've lost the weight kind of thing. Like I don't wanna gain weight on top of the weight that I'm at now. So yeah, I definitely wanna have another baby, but um, I really want to get some weight down first. <laughs> okay, the next question is starting weight this time around, question mark. Are you nervous revealing it because it's higher than your first time around? No, it's not higher than my first time around. <laughs> it's not higher than my first time around at all. I'm just, I don't know, there's something in me that's like, I don't like to give out the weight that I am until I'm well aware away from the number that I that she started at. Like even when I like started, well, when I started my journey, I did save the weight, but now because I gained the weight back, honestly, it just has to do with me. I'm just embarrassed, that's literally what it is. And I know a lot of people wanna know, but I'm not ready to tell my weight yet. So, I mean, I'm sorry if you're upset, I hope you're not upset, but yeah, I just I just don't want to tell my weight right now. I don't feel comfortable. And when I feel comfortable, then I will definitely let you guys know. I genuinely love making these things, you guys. Like, these things make me so happy. I love making these headbands. They're super, super cute. And it makes me literally so happy. I love making these. Like, look how cute this is coming out, you guys. Look how cute this headband is turning out. I added all the clusters in there. Some more, um, you know, pearls and stuff. And this, this is the bordery. I don't know if I want to keep the bordery plain like this or if I want to add some more, um, like, jewels and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this. I don't want to overcomplicate this. It's so beautiful. I love the way it looks. I think I'm finished with this, so... Headband is done. I'm just going to rest it here so we can further dry and do its thing. Okay, um, let me get through these questions quicker now. How is business going? Business is going, I mean, it's going normal. You know, I haven't really, I just started, I just like put it out there that I have a business and I'm still waiting for inventory to come in and you know, so I can like make the headbands and get them shipped out to the people who like pre-ordered them. Um, No money payment has been made to me yet. I just been telling people to like, let me know the headband that you want, how many of them you want, um, and then I'll make them. And then once I make them, because I'm still waiting on inventory, then I will contact them and be like hey your headband's ready okay now here you can pay via PayPal and I'll get them shipped out to you so that's how we're doing it right now I do have a website with big cartel called hungumami.com called hungumami slash big cartel.com um so I have that I don't have it running up just yet because because I don't have the inventory as yet I don't really want it to be a situation where I go like public public where it's like I have a bunch of orders because I'm trying to like really get this business off the ground you guys I want to like kill you know the social media posts and the the marketing and I need to send out bands to other influencers so they can like it and hopefully promote if they want to so before I get to that point I just want to have all of my inventory so I'm ready to just 
make these headbands and just bang them out and just send them out to whoever orders you know what I mean and when you're ordering from a, like when it's a website it's more like I feel like they'll come in quicker so I'm just really worried so um that's the reason why I'm doing via PayPal right now but business is you know it's, it's good I guess it's good it's exciting it's scary and exciting because I don't know how it's gonna be I don't know what's really going on I'm, I don't know anything about business to tell you the truth I'm kind of just going on as I go you know what I mean I'm just going on as I go on so um but yeah but business is interesting exciting new and scary and fun <laughs> this question is actually so funny to me you guys because people say this to me all the time and it says are you the voice behind the camera on Daddy's Kitchen? You guys sound just alike. And no, I am not the voice behind Daddy's Kitchen. I did not think that me and Sasha sound that much alike. Like, what? Like, I think Sasha is the one who films her dad doing, um, you know, his cooking. Daddy, I think she's the one who films her dad. But no, I am not... I don't know me and Sasha sound that much alike. Well, we're both from Toronto, so maybe, like, that's what it is. Like, we both have that accent. But no, that's not me. That's Sasha, baby. That is the floss couture herself, okay? No, that is not me. <laughs> Next question is, would you ever consider dating outside your race? And... I don't know. I, okay, I'm very much like black love, black love, black love. Like, I'm really much about that. Not to mention, I love my black men. Like, I love black men. Like, I love black men so i don't really think that i would like go out looking to date outside my race i don't think i do that and right now i am dating a black man so i mean you know if i wasn't in a relationship going out there looking for somebody that's not my race no 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 no, no. i'm always going to be first priority looking for a black man because i want black children i want to raise black children and i know having a child with somebody else in a different race you'll still have a black child but i mean i want this melanin you know <laughs> so yeah um i don't think i'd ever go purposely out of my way to date somebody outside my race i mean if that's what god has in store for me and that's what's gonna happen then that's what's gonna happen because what he says goes and i can't really change that you know what i mean but um no for me what i want what i like is black men <laughs> Okay, so this question is, when you eat something off plan, do you put a guilt trip on yourself? I do, and I hate that. I'm working on do, I'm working on not doing it. Um, Yeah, when I eat something that I do put a guilt trip, it's been a little bit easier now for me because I have been doing the intuitive eating where I eat when I'm hungry and stop when I'm full. I still do intermittent fasting, but I'd say I'm doing more like a 16-8 method. Sometimes I do do OMAD without me even realizing I'm doing OMAD, so I guess I'm between OMAD and 16-8, but I do give myself that sometimes. Times. I haven't been doing it lately like I said but yeah it's hard before I used to do that a lot I used to do that so much where I developed bulimic I was bulimic I had bulimia you know what I mean and um where I used to throw up my food I used to do that before because I, I, I had so much guilt on it but it's not good like food is for fuel and you know the times where you're allowed to celebrate you should be able to celebrate and not feel so bad or so in your head about it um I still go through that like even like Thanksgiving I was going through that so I know it's it's way more easier said than done. But, um, yeah, I'm going to keep in my prayers. I'm going to keep both of us in our prayer, in my prayers because something I'm just starting to get a hold on now. So I pray that you'll be able to get through too. But for me, I just say, like, just tell yourself, like, I don't have this every day. And it's okay if I just have this this one time. As long as I'm going back onto my regular schedule the next day, I should be fine. So, yeah. I feel your pain, though, girl. I feel your pain. So this question says, I'm late to the party. <laughs> would you ever consider doing any type of plastic surgery? Um, yeah, I would. I think like when I first lost the 100 pounds I really wanted to um get my tummy tuck I wanted to get my boobs done and I wanted to get a little bit of fat put into my butt because when I lose weight my butt goes in on the sides all of that like volume is gone so I really wanted to do that and I was actually this close to doing it like I almost got like the surgery like scheduled and everything like I almost was about to do it at the time I didn't though because the pandemic hit and then also too I was in my head about it I was a little scared I'm really scared of surgery I don't don't think this time around that I would do that. I don't think that I would get a tummy tuck. I don't think that I would get anything in my butt. And I don't think that I would get my boobs done. I think that I just want to lose this weight. That's all. <laughs> That's all I care about. I just want to lose this weight and I'll be fine. I just want to lose this weight and just be healthy. I don't care if my boobs sag. I don't care if I have saggy skin on my stomach. Don't care about my butt going anymore. I don't care about any of that. I just want to lose this weight. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, I don't see myself getting any plastic surgery done anytime soon or at all. I never say never though because you 
you never know what could happen in the future. Maybe I might just change my mind, but right now, no. All right, so this question, there's a lot of questions. Ooh, it says, do you want more kids? I already answered that. Yes, I want more children. Do you want to get married? Yes, I want to get married. I actually answered that question in my last Q&A about marriage. So yeah, I want to get married. So I'm trying to keep my head up so light because the camera keeps getting darker. This question is, do you have a man? Yes, I have a man. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Um, if so, how long have y'all been together? Me and my boyfriend have been together for three years. Um, are you baptized? No, I'm not baptized. Ooh, well, she's just killing it with the, with the questions. <laughs> no, I'm not baptized. I want to get baptized, but I'm not baptized yet. If so, how are you baptized in Jesus Christ's name the right way? Or the Father, Son, Holy Spirit the wrong way? What's your view on question four? Honestly, I don't know how to answer question four. I didn't know that there was a wrong way, the right way to get baptized. I mean, I grew up in a Christian church, so I know like, you know, you get baptized, you know, to, you know, wash away your sins and to, you know, uh, commit your life to Christ. I know that the Catholics get baptized when you're a baby. They put the water or the oil on the head, I think. I'm not sure. But I did not know anything about baptizing the Jesus in Jesus Christ's name or the the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, which is a wrong way. I have to ask my mom about that. I really did not know that there was a right or wrong way. Like in Jesus, in Jesus Christ's name is like, okay, yeah, in Jesus Christ's name, I get it, in Jesus Christ. Or the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Isn't that the same thing? You're still calling. I mean, you didn't actually call out his name, but I mean, there's only one Trinity, and that's what I know of, is that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is Jesus Christ. So I don't know. Hmm, very interesting, though. This question says, have you ever thought about, I guess, bypass surgery? Um, I have, but I'm scared of surgery, so I will not be doing no weight loss surgery. And also, too, I've done it by myself the first time around, um, and you would think that I would be like, yeah, I'm just gonna get the surgery because I did it once already and I gained. No, I just really want to teach myself and make myself learn to um, have a better relationship with food and um, get the weight off myself. And I want other people to know that they don't have to have surgery to get it off. I know that it seems like everyone's getting surgery because everywhere I look, every single plus size influencer that I used to watch back in the day is like super small now and has had surgery. Uh, but no, I'm still kicking and I still want to show people that you can do the, I'm not gonna say healthy way because I don't think that getting weight loss surgery is unhealthy. I think it's still healthy, but you can do it the natural way. And I mean, even when you get weight loss surgery, you still have to work hard. To, to get the weight off it's not easy you still have to put, you know push yourself to go to the gym and eat healthy and know your moderation and stuff like that so i wouldn't say that's the easy way out but for people who are scared of weight loss surgery like me i want them to know like if you're scared girl it's okay i'm scared too let's just do the, the, the regular old-fashioned way okay <laughs> so yeah that's why i wouldn't get the surgery oh this is a really good question why do you think you don't have any close friends um i've asked myself that question a lot of times <laughs> I've asked myself that question a lot of times. I literally was like, okay, maybe it's me because I'm the one who doesn't have any friends, you know? Maybe it's me. Um, but then I was like, no, I just, I haven't found my people yet. That's literally what it is, you know? Like I've had friends in the past and we've grown apart. You know, we're different people now and I, I wish them the best in life. I don't hate them at all. I love them still to this day. But you know, we're just, you know, some people are just meant to be in your life for a season or maybe they will be back in my life again one day. I don't know, but for right now, it's just like, yeah, we're just, you know, we're in different paths in our lives and we're just not friends. But I'm not gonna say that I don't have any friends. Like I have, I have like a couple friends, I do, but we don't see each other often and we mostly talk on the phone because they also have, you know, children and more children than me, you know what I mean? And and they're busy with work and school and you know just a whole bunch of stuff so yeah I don't really get to see the friends that I do have I don't get to see them often but I do have you know I'd say I'd say two to three close friends you know <laughs> but yeah I don't I don't I just don't get to see them often I will have like that bosom friend that I talk to every day on the phone and we hang out every day or every other day or every week I, I don't have a friend like that you know um other than Jenna Jenna's my bosom friend Jenna's that friend for me <laughs> all right, so this question is uh, kind of all over the place. It says, you know how we do screenshots from the side? It makes us look smaller. Show one from the front so we can see the real. And then she goes on to talk about her armpits and how to get armpit fat and she needs to get rid of her armpit fat. Okay, so you cannot um, spot lose weight. When you lose weight, hey, the weight's gonna come off wherever you want. You cannot say, oh, I have big arms, I'm just gonna work on my arms. All you'll be doing is just building muscle underneath your fat. 
the weight, fat is going to melt, melt off wherever it wants to melt off. Whether it be your arms, your legs, your butt, your breasts, your belly, your face, it's going to come off like that. So you cannot spot train. Like I said, if you say, oh, my arms are big, I want to work them out. All you'll be doing is building muscle in your arms. You're not going to make the fat melt at your arm. Fat is going to come off wherever it wants to come off. Um, And when it comes to, you know, how we do screenshots from the side, it makes us look smaller. Show one from the front so we can see the real. Um, I have plenty of try on haul videos I have plenty of videos of me showing my body on um, my my vlogs where I am in the front I do it to the side I do it to the other side and I show the back so I don't really know what you're talking about cuz I show my body um I show everything I have before and after pictures, like literally from the front. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that I have a fupa. Everyone knows what my stomach looks. Everybody knows what my body looks like in clothes, okay? Because I have a whole bunch of stuff online showing my body. So I don't know what that means, honey. But um, yes, as it goes for the armpit thingy, yeah, you can't really, you can't spot train unless you're like spot training muscle, but not for losing fat. And this question is, why do you think it's worth it to go into online videos with all of the people already doing it? Hmm, why do you think it's worth it to go into online videos with all of the people already doing it. Well, like I said, I've been doing YouTube since 2012. YouTube didn't hit the, you know, hit the internet until 20, until what, 206, so 2006. I did, I started YouTube 2012. At the time, it wasn't so saturated. It's a lot more saturated now. <laughs> so, and even if it's saturated now, you can still do YouTube. I just think social media on a whole is worth it. So I think it's worth it because you get to, you know, say how you feel, meet other people, have a business, out of it create an income out of it um it's like a you know a creative outlet for you to do the things you want to do in life or to showcase yourself to reach out to other people there's so many benefits of doing you know videos or making videos or putting yourself out there on social media so i recommend it 100 percent. i love it it's definitely worth it to me so this question is are you still fasting for 36 plus hours um not I, no not no no <laughs> no I, I the most i will do is uh omad which is eat once a day which I think that maybe that might be around 36 hours. I don't know. But what I do right now is I do OMAD sometimes. And then sometimes I fast uh, for the 16-8 method. So like I'll start eating at 12. And I'll like have my cutoff time around like, I don't know, 5, 6. I don't How many hours is that? 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So like, so yeah. Instead of 8 hours eating, I'll have like a 6 hour eating window. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so this question is, I remember your video where you explained how your weight loss always failed until you incorporated God. Um, when God was constantly with you, you were able to lose 100 pounds. Is there any difference in how you feel now in your journey versus how you felt while losing 100 pounds before? Losing my 100 pounds before, I definitely incorporated God. I'm incorporating God this time around as well too, but for some reason, I'm just finding it harder to lose this weight around. Maybe I, I'm, you know, a lot of things are different in my life now. Um, there's a lot of things that I've gone through where because I'm not the same person I was four years ago or three years ago however long it was since I lost my hundred pounds um so God is the same God yesterday today and forever right so it's not God um it's I guess you could say it's me I'm just different now and like I said I've I've developed you know being bulimic there's so many things now that I'm fighting and that I'm working now with trying to lose 100 pounds this time around than when I was before the first time you know so I guess that's what it is it's just that I'm a different person I'm going through different things different things have happened to me and it's just a different situation this time than the last time so yeah I think that's what it is this is a really good question. This one says, I'm not sure how to phrase this because I, my intentions are not to offend you. Um, how do you ensure that your weight loss journey doesn't neg negatively affect Nova? In other words, to make sure she doesn't become obsessed about her weight. And this is something that I still think about to this day because I am on a weight loss journey and I do for myself saying certain things about my, about to me, like about my weight that I, I might say close in range of her so she can hear me, which I know is not good. I do you have to have grace for myself because I am human. Um, us as parents, we have to do our best as parents, but 
Um, there's only so much that I can really filter and do when coming to being her mother and when it comes to my weight. Now, one thing I will say is that even I know, I don't, I can't pinpoint the parts of when she hears me talk about my weight sometimes. I thought I could be in the mirror and I could say something to myself. I could be like, oh, I hate this about my stomach or I hate all of my stomach or oh, my arms or oh, my, my legs or, you know, I might say something like that around her. Um, and in those cases, because I don't know when I've said it, I do make it an, a point to, to tell her before she goes to bed or when I'm having conversations with her and we're just talking and telling her, you know, mommy's just trying to lose weight to get healthy. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get healthy. Sometimes mommy says things that about her belly or her arms and that's just me being stupid. Like I shouldn't say those things. Like that's just mommy being hard on herself. Mommy is beautiful. You know, I love myself. I just want to get healthy. And I tell her the same thing too. Like, you know, weight loss. When mommy talks about being, when mommy talks about losing weight, it's not for mommy to say, oh, I need to be skinny. When mommy talks about losing weight, it's to be healthy so I can stay longer on this earth with you and I can live longer with you and I can have a better quality of life you know because mommy just feels a little bit unhealthy so um when I talk about weight loss it's not for mommy to be skinny it's for mommy to you know lose weight and to get healthy and to just be here longer for you so I do that a lot with her I say that a lot with her so she knows you know what I mean and I do say this as well too like Oh, you know, I tell her, I said, you know, being bigger, whether you're bigger like me or you're smaller like um, like you or you're smaller like, you know, Doja Cat or Beyonce. Like, I tell her those things like, oh, we're all still equal. We're all still beautiful, you know. Because I also tell her, like, um, just because people, you see people that are my size doesn't mean they're not healthy. You know what I mean? I tell her, like, mommy doesn't feel healthy. I don't feel healthy. So that's why mommy wants to lose some weight so mommy can feel more healthy inside because mommy doesn't feel healthy. So I always try to, like, bring it back to me. Like, this is me. This is my problem. These are my issues. This is what I want to fix for myself. You know what I mean? So she knows, like, okay, well, not everyone is trying to lose weight that's bigger. Not everyone that's bigger is unhealthy. Because that also, too, is an unhealthy way to think and to see people on road. I don't want her to see every big person be like, oh, my God, they're so unhealthy. Because then she'll get fatphobic with herself and then she won't she wouldn't want to be you know and then she won't like herself if she you know does gain weight down the line in her life i don't want that for her or i don't want her to you know pick up a, a eating disorder so so that is what i do for nova um to ensure that it's not going to negatively affect her now do i have control over what happens completely like over the years no i don't have control of it because truth be told i can say this to nova every single day but the media will continue to show her that oh it's better to be skinny it's better to be smaller when you're smaller people look at you this way people treat you this way you know the fact that people nowadays still make fat jokes and it's okay you can't even talk about anything you can't even talk you can't talk about nothing nothing on this earth okay without somebody having a problem with it and it being problematic and everybody jumping on the bandwagon saying like yeah this is super problematic no this is not funny we need to but for some reason people never do that for fat people never only time you hear people saying oh my god that's so wrong is when now a, a little bit of the community comes together and says oh my god body positivity you shouldn't talk about people's bodies but for the most part it's in movies it's everywhere the fat kid the fat person always gets made fun of so i'm doing my best as her mother uh to not be fat phobic and to tell her that she's beautiful and that it doesn't matter what size she is um by telling her that and saying that this is about me that i want to get healthy for myself but at the end of the days the media <laughs> the media does a one on people already whether their parents tell them this or tell them that so um, I can't control that. I can just control what I say to her, what I do. Um, so yeah, that's basically like the route that I'm going with to ensure that it doesn't negatively affect her life when it comes to like weight. So this one says slightly off topic, and I don't know if it's relevant right now, but how do you find dating or being comfortable as a plus size slash curvy woman when in a relationship? Also, um, I love the channel and the journey we're on. Keep moving forward. Thank you so much, love. Um, okay, so okay, so how do I find dating um in a relationship being a plus size? I it's normal. It's it's normal. Like it's, it doesn't feel 
know, weird or different. You know, sometimes I do have insecurities that I may, you know, uh, talk about my insecurities, at, you know, in front of my boyfriend because he's is my boyfriend and he's my best friend. So obviously I can find myself talking about my insecurities sometimes to him. He's very supportive. He just tells me like, oh, what are you talking about? I love you. Or, you know, you look amazing or you look good. Or, you know, he says those things to me. Um, I just, it's just all in my head sometimes. I don't like, not to say I sit there and talk about my weight every single second with him. No, but like it's in my head sometimes. So I will voice it. But he just reassures me that like, oh, baby, you're beautiful. I love you. I love this. And if, and if you want to lose lose this weight then you can do it like I'm here to help you in any way let's work out together like he's very supportive when it comes to that so um yeah no it's really it's easy being a plus size curvy woman in a relationship you know uh dating that's a different story <laughs> well, we can have a whole video about that but in a relationship no it's easy it's just like being in a relationship with somebody if you were a smaller person like it's the same okay you guys so that is the end of the q and a i hope you guys enjoy the q and a um i finished my headband i'll show you guys again the headband that i finished when i was talking to you guys so this is the headband that i finished today when i was talking to you guys about the q and a it's super cute oh, 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 oh. any little girl would love this on her head this is fire <laughs> yes i have so many of them i have this design that i just recently did and then you know i have this design i have so many of them i have it in pink and you know the lime green i have so many of them you guys so many i even have a chocolate theme that everybody is obsessed with okay like everybody is obsessed with this head i have a lot of orders on this chocolate headband everyone is loving this chocolate one so um yeah but so yeah if you want a better look at these headbands and just go on um hungu mommy's instagram and i have pictures of all these headbands on there i'm gonna add a picture of this new one as soon as it dries and it's all good but yeah guys but yeah guys so this is it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this q a uh, if you have any more questions just leave them down in the comment box below <laughs> and i'll try my best to answer them for you and i will see you guys in the next video tomorrow i actually have to go over to um an event i got invited to the nyx cosmetics event nyx nyx cosmetics i got invited to their halloween event so i'll be going to that and i think i'm going to bring my camera and vlog so i don't know if i want to put that video on this channel or my other channel but we'll see but yeah okay guys i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one okay bye guys okay everybody that's a wrap <laughs>